to study economics for class 11 you need to understand what is the state of economy as of today now to study what is the state of economy as of today you need to understand from where we started and where we have reached right that is the reason in this particular chapter we are going to understand that how the economic development has been what was being given to us by the Britishers when they left the country so what the colonial ruler, rulers gave us when they left the country and how we have come where so far how far we have come in terms of growth okay so let's begin with colonial rule see under colonial rule the state of the economy was in a dismal state why because we were not growing the GDP of the country was not growing the state of agriculture industry and service sector was very bad we had mass scale unemployment poverty inequality now the impact of the colonial rule was purely because of the fact that they wanted India to be a feeder economy now what is a feeder economy what they did was they wanted us to produce raw material from them the moment we produce the raw material for them they used to take that raw material and supply to the industries which were there in Britain okay and then whatever goods these Britain industries used to prepare those were sent as export to India so what we did we exported raw material and we imported finished goods right so the rule colonial rule impact was that we became a feeder economy okay now as I said the colonial government was purely concerned with protection and promotion of economic interest of the ho home country see any person who is coming to another country to rule the economy they would be only interested in exploiting the resources the population out there and ensuring maximum advantage to their home country and that is what the British people did what they did was they ensured that agriculture gets commercialized first thing okay and whatever little bit efforts they took for development that was purely to ensure that the goods which came from Britain reached people and people started buying it okay so the economic development of India went at a backstop during colonial rule now as I already explained you we became the net suppliers of raw materials as commercialization was encouraged so we started exporting cotton let's say tea okay so these were the things which were we were exporting okay now what were we importing on the other hand we were importing finished goods like if we were exporting cotton we were importing garments okay now the country's growth of aggregate real output during the first half of the 20th century was less than 2% so it was very less okay and it was coupled with a meager half percent growth in per capita output so as such the state of the economy was in a very dismal state now let us understand what we were before the British rule happened see before the British rule we were a developed and a flourishing economy as popularly we were known as a golden bird because we had enormous wealth and at that time there was no commercialization of agriculture so the farmer used to produce only for its own requirements and the little bit extra which he used to have that was exchanged under the barter system to satisfy his other needs okay so most of the travelers who came to the country during that time always claimed India to be a rich country it was a self-sufficient economy as I explained you everybody in the agriculture sector used to focus on producing what was required as per their needs and the rest of the ex excess if they had any was exchanged with other farmers for satisfying their other needs in fact one French traveler known as Barnier he said India was richer than Egypt so when he visited he exclaimed that India was much richer and much prosperous than Egypt apart from that 
द क्राफ्टमैनशिप एंड द हैंडीक्राफ्ट ऑफ इंडिया व हाईली अप्रिशिएटेड सो द टैलेंट वी हैड वॉज एनॉर्मस एंड अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड द हैंडीक्राफ्ट ऑफ इंडिया व अप्रिशिएटेड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट देर वॉज अ स्पेसिफिक क्लॉथ विच वॉज नोन एज Dakai muslin, so this is popularly in Hindi known as malmal. So this was a very soft cloth which was produced only in India, okay? And this was famous worldwide. We use we used to export it, or people used to come and buy this. So the handmade textile was quite famous across the world. So this was the state of the Indian economy before the British rule.